In this video, I'm going to give you a short introduction of Navigator, which uh, is a NVIM plugin that helps you explore LSP and GC the symbols. The setup is very simple. You will need LSP config, maybe also tree seater and and navigator. After the plugin installed, you need to run setup, which help you set up the key maps and also the LSP config. All config options are listed in the document here. The plugin functions was provided through the key maps. You can read the key map document here in the readme, or you could also use SP key map. This will show all the key maps being used. Let's take a look of how we use this plugin. Here is an example. I want to search all the reference to browser. I move my cursor to browser and use GR. This will pop up a list view of all the reference to browser. The plugin will use Qsita to analyze your code. Here is an example. The first op reference to browser, you can see a pen emoji here. This means the in at this reference, browser was assigned to a value. Also, the second reference, the browser is used as a parameter to alert, and here. That shows the alert was called in display name, and display name is called by make funk. Another example is go code. So let's check the definition of dog. Move cursor to dog. Gr. This screen you bring up the all the reference to the dog. Also move cursor to dog. All the dog reference to dog will be highlighted. You could also use bracket R to navigate through all the reference. And you could also use Little K, little K, yeah, to highlight all the reference. Little K. Yeah. If you want to go to the definition, you could use gb to go to definition also you can use control bracket to go to definition as well and if you only want to preview the definition you could either use a uh, hover which is capital k and you could use gp to preview gp to preview and GP if you want to check the signature help of parameter you use control K control K control K
you can check all the symbols in a particular document with G0. That will list all the symbols in this document. Also, you can use G capital T. G capital T. This will list all the tree theta symbols in the document. You could filter inside those lists, say new doc. That's where I only list all the reference to new doc. Also, uh, if you have multiple buffers, you have multiple buffer open, you can use leader GT. That will show all the preceded document in the open buffers. Next is code action. For example, I remove the import of time. This will give me some errors because as time is not imported. So I use space CA. This will bring up the code action menu. I could use, uh, let's say, Add import by press enter. So line five time is added back. Save. Also, the plugin support colons. So let's move to Sarama, which is a Go library. Normally, when you open the source code, there's not much diagnostic showed when you first open it. But if you move your cursor, to the place where we could use code lens. Press space LA. That will apply code lens. Right after, you will see all the hints. And also in the scroll bar, you'll see the scroll bar will be highlights to indicate the Hint location. Here, for example, uh, it means uh, we have map escape to heap. <coughs> the plugin also support uh, your interface to rename. Let's use space RN. Say new dog, yes, rename as new dog funk. All the reference will be renamed, maybe. Uh, it's not a good name, maybe rename back space space rn new dog, rename back. Next, let's check about the uh, incoming and out outgoing call. So, let, let's see uh, which function calls new dog. Space GI, okay, empty. <laughs> Should be leader GI, leader GI, C 
so all the place you know it's called is list here we can also see uh, the outgoing call with big go so from one we'll call new dog date set owner and new record write next let's take a look at our implementation so you want to check which uh, struct implement geometry you use GI this this shows that wrap and circle implement interface also you can check specific function API not leave GI so uh, GI that shows the Arrows was implemented by rack error and also circle error. Next, let's take a look of diagnostic. Let's say uh, we change the type of name to int. As soon as I leave insert mode you will see a lot of compliance or diagnostic with which attacks you could navigate through all this diagnostic with bracket R oh, sorry. Uh, bracket D yeah. bracket D, bracket D, bracket D also you could view the diagnostic with GL And you could also have a list view of all the diagnostic with GG. That will list all the document across the current project. Let's change it back to stream. Next, let's talk about the uh, navigate through symbols. So when you move to dog, you will see that all the reference of dog will be highlighted. You can use bracket R to navigate through all the reference. Also, you could highlight the reference with little k, so that all the reference to dog will be highlighted. You could talk it back with little k. Okay? Signature help. You could use Control K to bring up the signature help, and the current parameter will be highlighted. Next, let's talk about the workspace symbols. So you could use GW, oh, come on, GW to find a symbol. Let's say I'd like to find new. So all the symbols new will be listed. And also you could use space WL to list the workspace and space wr so that you could remove a specific workspace and space wa to add a folder to the current workspace
That's the, all the major features provided by Navigator. Thanks. Happy coding.